my name is Valerie. Today I'm gonna to share with you a book that is super captivating and hooking that will keep you on the edge of your seat. So this book is called Green Glass House and it is by Kate Milford. And Green Glass House is a um, mystery slash fiction book and I would read a 10 out of 10. So the main character in Green Glass House is Milo, who is a 12 year old boy that lives with his two parents who adopted him from birth. And um, he lives in the Green Glass House, which is an inn that he and his parents run. The setting in this book is around winter time. And past winters have been really quiet because most of the customers or the guests that come to the Green Glass House are smugglers. And smugglers have seasons, so you can always kind of predetermine when they're coming. Um, and most of the time smugglers come in the spring, that's their season. And in the winter, the inn is usually super quiet and there aren't many guests. However, this winter is very different as surprisingly guests start trickling in and each of them has a different reason why they're there and how they got there. And Milo finds this super intriguing because it's the first winter where it's very active and, um, you know, there are people um, that come in the inn for different reasons because they aren't smugglers. And Milo wants to know more about them because they're going to be living together for a fairly long time as it is winter and the snowstorms are brutal so it's very hard to come in and out of the inn. Milo wants to know more about them and reason behind their arrival. Next thing that happens really escalates um, the book and you know keeps it going which is some of the guest belongings have started to um, disappear and someone's obviously stole them and the only logical reason is that the person who stole them has uh, lives in the green glass house and these guests are kind of secretive about why they're there um, and don't really tell Milo a lot Milo and a girl named Medi who is the cook's daughter make it their quest to find out who uh, stole these goods, where are they, and why. As Medi and Milo start to uncover the secrets and the mysteries of uh, the guests, Milo also learns more about his home and uh, the secrets of the green glass house. I really enjoy this book because, first of all, the plot is super interesting and unique, unlike any other I've read before. And also Kate Milford's description of the inn is super vibrant and also the descriptions of the characters. So it makes you feel like you're actually in the inn in the winter with them. I just really like the idea of finding more about your home and your family and the history and the past um, behind what's, what's there. Because in this book, Milo really uncovers a lot of the history and the past of the green glass house and um how he got to where he um is and how the house got to its place and i just really um uh, i just like the idea of that and i like following milo on his journey um and being with him throughout the process of him uncovering a lot of these secrets and my favorite character is milo just because he at first, he didn't have a lot of confidence. And I I can totally understand that. When I started playing basketball, I had literally no confidence at all. But then in this book, Milo and Medi worked together and Medi kind of learned how to give Milo more confidence by um, teaching him uh, all these tricks and teaching him that he has to believe in himself in order to uh, achieve things. And as the book goes on, Milo's confidence grows and it's very fascinating uh, being with him on the journey and seeing his character development and character change. I find that in myself too, like slowly, slowly, um, my confidence has grown 
still not not where it needs to be but you know progress is still progress and um i find myself in milo as well and i hope you guys will too green glass house is a series and this is the first book in the series named it's green glass um house but there's also a series and in the series right now i think there are five books and i haven't read any of the other books but I really hope to and follow and continue Milo's journey. I hope you guys enjoy this book as much as I do and I would recommend it to really everybody um, but let's say kids 10 or older. So I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I do and I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys later. Bye!